rice has arsenic in it, rice is going to kill you, rice is going to make you fat. Rice. Rice is life. I know, right? A lot of people are like, rice is poisonous, rice has arsenic in it, rice is going to kill you, rice is going to make you fat. Rice is going to, no, 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 rice is going to spike you, you know, it's like, oh my god. So, this is the gig, right? We're all not made equal. That's the first thing. Major disclaimer, free will, free will right there. We're all not made equal. Your microbiome and my microbiome and the boys behind these cameras' microbiome is, are their own. All our own. My fingerprint, which is my microbiome, is very, very different from Weir's fingerprint microbiome. We all have a different level of microbiome, which is our own identity. So someone like myself, I eat rice pretty much five days of the week. Weir, behind the camera, eats rice seven days of the week. Rice has this ability to feed a nation. It has this crazy way of, of allowing us to survive in, in different countries around the world. It has been picked on by the wellness industry and the nutritional science industry. And it disgusts me actually when I think about it because I know people in Papua New Guinea, in, in all parts of Asia that have lived on rice their entire life that are living up to 100, 105, 110, 115. No joke. And then we've got the argument about white rice and other coloured rice. And I happen to have this very wonderful privilege to live in a country called Indonesia. I grew up on the other side of Indonesia called Papua New Guinea. And I basically grew up on rice, white rice. There are so many different arguments around rice. You have to think and feel into your body what's right for you. For me, I feel amazing. For the guys behind the camera, rice is power. It gives you energy, right? And so you have to work out what's right for you. A lot of people like brown rice over white rice. I can't stand brown rice. It's like it's a no-go zone for me. I tried to eat it in my early 20s and 30s. Can't stand it. Don't have it in my kitchen. I don't cook it. There's forbidden rice, there's black rice, there's green rice, there's orange rice, there's red rice, there's many different grades of, um, of rice. So there's small, medium, medium, large, there's sticky rice, there is um, glutinous rice, there are rice that is grown organically, there's biodynamic rice, there's conventional rice, there is rice that has been, they call it polished. There's rice that where I live in Indonesia, the women and the men here in this country harvest that amazing grass with that seed on there called rice, right? And then they, then they, 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 sh they let that dry, then they shake it. And then they dry it out on the street on these big, big mats. And then they shake it again. And then, and then they get those husks off and they've got rice. And it's the best rice I've ever eaten in my life, is my friend Neelu's rice from her land. So rice doesn't give me that spike. It doesn't make me feel lethargic. It doesn't make me go fat. It suits my individual fingerprint, which is my gut microbiome. And so why do some of us have this kind of evilness around rice? It's a very interesting statement. And like I said before, a lot of us are very different and a lot of us can't seem to eat it because it really makes us crash and a lot of us can. It's an individual thing but to pick on it and I'm really talking to the wellness industry here and the nutritional science industry to pick on it like it's wrong is not is not okay with me. I live in a country where rice is life you know and I live in a country where you know, the grandmothers and my friends are in their hundreds from eating rice their entire life, three meals a day. So depending on your culture, your microbiome and your footprint on the planet, let's just celebrate the fact that a lot of countries and a lot of cultures love rice. So for us to pick on it like that, and it, 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 is, it is a big thing out there in the industry where we're just like, I would say to you, let it go, let it flow, do what's right for you, and there's no food fight here. Rice is amazing. I'm actually gonna have some now for lunch, no joke. <laughs>